Dr. Katan, what is psoriasis? Well, psoriasis is for the most part a genetic uh, skin disease. It's quite common. They say it's about 2% of the population, but my estimation is probably much, uh, much more than that, maybe 5% or more of the population who has uh, at least the gene for psoriasis. They may not manifest the, the rash of psoriasis. It's uh, very common, and you find uh, these red scaly plaques on the elbows, on the knees. It could be on the scalp, or it could be on other parts of the body, but the most common areas are elbows and knees. Um, they can affect the nail. You can see little dots of depressions on, on the nail. Uh, they can be uh, uh, very severe on the scalp, and you see these white flakes on people's uh, uh, clothing and jackets and stuff. It could be embarrassing sometimes. It could be uh, difficult, especially if it's uh, involving large large areas of the body. And uh, pe- people get some uh, social uh, stigmatization, and uh, they're sort of avoided. They, people don't know what it is. They're afraid it may be contagious. Um, it, it is... Uh, been found recently to have been associated with uh, increased risk of cardiovascular disease and uh, and, di- and diabetes. Um, there are people who have arthritis that is related to the psoriasis, which is called psoriatic arthritis, which can affect the joints uh, of, of the body. Um, basically. In, in mild cases, the skin problem, we treat them with uh, topical steroids or intralesional steroids or uh, vitamin D derivative uh, creams. Uh, there are some tar derivatives that are quite uh, effective uh, for treatment of the psoriasis. Uh, most recently, uh, we've had uh, a laser treatment available to us, uh, which is quite effective. Um, non, not not painful, and fortunately, uh, a, a great majority of the insurance companies cover this service, and it's done in the office. Uh, again, there's no pain. A uh, patient comes in uh, usually twice a week and gets the treatment uh, and goes home and uses the cream at home. Yeah, it takes usually about um, six weeks, uh, usually approximately 12 treatments. Uh, to help the psoriasis clear, and once it's cleared, it stays that way for about approximately six months. Uh, we find it extremely helpful for people who have psoriasis on the palms and soles. Uh, those areas are very difficult at times to treat, and this, this treatment is, is, is a great asset uh, that's available now to us. Uh, well, so you're telling me that a patient comes in... Um has to come basically for six weeks. That's uh, that's uh, you know almost two months, and then he's only relieved for about six months, and then he has to come again for a six months treatment, and that keeps going for uh, the rest of his life. Or uh, did I misunderstand that? Well, it's well, it is going to be effective at least for six months. It may be much longer than that. It's not predictable how the patient is going to respond in the future. What's going to happen? There are factors that bring on psoriasis. For example, if you have somebody who has strep throat or some other infections, that could trigger the psoriasis to come back. If the person is under stress, uh, it can trigger psoriasis to, to, to come back. So there are a number of factors that, that play uh, a role in this, and it's hard to tell uh, how, how it's going to be. Uh, well, the previous treatments... Uh, like we use the UV lights in the box, we put it on the box, and uh, you used to have about 20, 23 treatments. It was done about two, three times a week, and uh, that was also not not a very long-term uh, 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 cure, maybe about six months or so. But uh, but again, we were exposing the the whole body to uh, to this uh, UV ultraviolet light. Uh, on a, in the long term, this could have problems with uh, skin cancers, increased risk of skin cancers and, and such. But with the laser, 
we are only uh, applying the laser to the areas where there is psoriasis, so we're avoiding the normal skin. So the chances of uh, having those side effects is much more uh, reduced. And the time is reduced because um, the other one was even longer. Um, and obviously, right. since, you, since you mentioned that it can really cause it, it's quite, uh, you know, that's, that's quite um, enlightening, actually, um, on how many other problems um, it, it can cause. Right. Wow. All right. And um, it probably, is it uncomfortable also, itchy and uh, whatever, is it to, to, to people... Uh, scratch it when they have it, and, and, and that in itself is getting all kinds of uh, impossibilities of infections and all that things? Yes, that is a possibility. Commonly, it's not very, very itchy, but it, in some people it is, and it can be uncomfortable, and it can get infected if they scratch it too much and break the skin barrier and cause infections, sure. And if it's in areas where the skin is exposed... Uh, like I think you mentioned, it can be in the head or, or somewhere, uh, or uh, even if it's on the knee and whether it's a boy or girl and somewhere we wear shorts and miniskirts, uh, uh, it's unsightly also, right? Right. And again, it, it becomes a, a more of a psychological, uh, embarrassing uh, situation for, for the patient, and uh, uh, that's something else to consider. Sure. Well, again, thank you very much. Um, that should shed some light onto uh, the people listening to it. Um, bye-bye.